on just in case you did not see the lesson for last week I'm going to do a very quick quick overview of what we did we are making our masked self portraits so what I did is I took my piece of paper and I folded it in half and I just opened it back up so I can see a line this line is going to be a guide for me right above that line I'm going to make my eyes so I'm going to start very lightly holding my pencil a little higher up making my two circles those are going to be my eyes next I'm going to make little circles inside it can be looking either way but these are going to kind of be the shiny part of my eyes now I'm going to make um, any sort of lines that kind of come off the side. Let's try to make them even so my eyes are about the same size. Last week we did go over different types of cartoon looking eyes that we could use, but this is just the example I'm going to use for today. Add lashes if you'd like. Next we're going to add half of a nose because our mask is going to go over most of our nose. So I'm just doing kind of a curved line that starts right at the top of my eyes and just kind of goes down a little past this reference line that we have. So I'll stop right about here. Next, I'm gonna do my hairline. So I'm gonna go up a little more and I want you to think about how far away from your eyes your hairline might be. Some of us might have a really short hairline like this. Some of us might have a taller one. You find out what works well for you. I'll probably put mine about here, maybe a little taller and I'm gonna make a curved line to make the top of my head. And again, I like to kind of turn my page and that helps me make a nice even curved line. So let's see how this looks. All right, I might wanna make it a little taller just for myself. So I can go ahead and do that. And the great thing is I sketched lightly. So it'll be really easy for me to erase this extra line. All right, now we wanna do the bottom of my face. So let's find kind of a center point. It's kind of in between my eyes. So I'm gonna make little marks so I know where to stop. And again, you make a curved line. Think about the shape of your jaw. If you have like a more rounded shape, if you have a more square shape or an oval, think about that while you are sketching out your face. So now I have the whole outline of my face. Let's make our ears which actually the top of your ears start at the bottom of your eyes. So let's do that. Think about your ear shape as you sketch them in. Now again, I'm just going very quickly so you guys can remember what we did last week or catch up if you need to do it again. From the bottom of our ears, let's kind of make a line that goes from there to our nose line. And again, from this ear to this nose line. If you want to leave a little space under here for a chin, you can just make a curved line right down here, but that's optional. If you want to make that whole space your mask, that's cool too. Now let's go in and make the hairline. I have my hair up in a bun, so that's how I'm going to draw my hair out, kind of like this. Think about how your hair is or how you want to draw your hair. You might have a really cool hairdo, you might have short hair, you might have curly hair or straight hair. And let's add in our eyebrows, can't forget that. Okay, so that's about what we did last week. You can add a neck if you have some space. Um, and that's about it for this. If you want to start adding a little bit of designs into your mask, you can go ahead and do that. And the last thing I'm going to want to do is outline with my Sharpie. You can use a black crayon or another black marker if you'd like instead. And that's it. Let's move on.